We are with Paige Stover, and she's the owner of this cute little bakery. What's the exact name? Darby's Bakery. Darby's Bakery. Where did the name come from? We bought this as a previously owned business uh -huh. um, back in 1999. So that was the former owner's wife's name. Oh, how long have you owned it? 25 years since November. Oh, wow. I know. Okay. How long was it a bakery before that? Uh, just five years. Five so years. So we bought it right pretty much in the beginning. And what did you do before you owned the bakery? I was a baker. I worked in Bedford, Mass. Um, we had a store in Bedford. We had a store in Concord. Um, I was pretty young then. We started a brand new product line, and I left there to come here and own my own store. Oh. So I've been a business owner for I mean, almost half of my life. Well, that's, yeah. That's I excellent. Know. So what do you specialize in? Anything in particular? Well, we specialize in no additives and no preservatives, real homemade ingredients. Um, it's a European philosophy. So what we make today, we aim to sell today. So a lot of our customers know to place orders um, because we hope to sell out. What we don't sell, um, either our afternoon staff will take home. We'll put a few breads on the day old for half price, um, and otherwise we donate it to the food pantry. Okay, and you make all kinds of cookies, pastries, muffins. Yes. So you I, make your own bread too? We make our own bread. Um, we're, mo we're known for our breads. Um, I think that would be where we started and what most people know us for. Um, okay. Again, European breads. Our French bread takes four hours start to finish. We use a natural fermentation. Um, time gives flavor in bread. Um, sourdoughs, we have breads that we have every day, and then we have breads that we have on certain days of the week. Okay. So when you say natural fermentation, does that mean you're not using yeast? We are using yeast, okay. but we're letting the yeast rise. There's no conditioners. There's no, um, we're not rushing it at all. Okay. You know, it gets a good long rise, then a punch down, then a good long rise again. Like I learned how to make yes, bread. Yes, exactly. It's old school, very traditional, but we figured out how to do it productively. Okay, great. Yeah. Do you do pies? We do pies. We do a lot of pies for Thanksgiving, but we do pies. We have an assortment every day. Um, people, again, order the specific ones, but we always have six to seven pies a day. Um, but we use, you know, we have a very berry that has five different berries in it, a blueberry, um, apple, of course. We do pecan at the holidays. We do pumpkin at the holidays. Um, strawberry rhubarb is pretty much year-round now. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, what about cakes? You cakes? Do decorated cakes? We do decorated cakes, um, and we do torts, and we do a variety of different cupcakes. We do the traditional birthday cupcakes, you know, the, just the fun colors or decorations, but then we do a lot of different flavors. I love baking with flavors as opposed to just decorating and things being ooey and gooey. I want them to taste good. Um, mm -hmm. So we have like a marshmallow madness cupcake, we have Oreo, we have mocha brownie, lemon, blackberry. You know, we're always trying to think of new things. Mm -hmm. I love thinking of new things. Yeah. Wow. My staff does not love that. I'll drive in and oh. I'll be like, I had an idea. And they'll and go, then, oh no. Yes, exactly. And then we, you know. That sounds familiar. Yeah, that's, is that you? <laughs> I love that. Eh? Yes. <laughs> Marsha, I thought, I thought of a new thing. Oh no. <laughs> there is, but your brain gets going, you know, if you love what you do, yeah. then the ideas come. Yeah, yeah. But Excellent. I've, yeah, I've always, I intended to be a baker. I've always been a baker. Um, the only other job I've done is to teach baking. Oh. Yeah, so this is, I, I have always loved the art of this. You know, I still get very excited. I I'm, I'm, think I'm the only person who's done this that long that I know that I'm still like, oh, you know, I'm equally miserable when it does not go my way. But well, yeah. when it does, I'm, I, I don't know, I'm really, I, I love the art and the flavor and seeing our customers come in and being excited. I love trying to have people like, here, try this, you know? Wow. I don't know. That's yeah. excellent. And then what about the rest of the business? Because running a bakery, you have a lot of other things you have to deal with too, employees and finances and marketing. Well, marketing we're terrible at, so we're so glad you're here. And we have always relied on word of mouth. It has kept mm -hmm. us going. Um, usually once we can get you here, we get to keep you here. 
Um, so that's basically what I think. And the rest, we have a great staff. I would be lost without my staff. Um, we have such a good group. We have had young kids who work here through high school, then they work here through college when they can, and then now I'm lucky enough to go to their weddings and see their children. Uh, yeah, it's that is, other than the baking, that is my favorite part. So my husband and I have owned this together, which mm -hmm. that's you know a blessing and a curse at the mm -hmm. same time. Yep. But we've got it down. We each have our own things we're responsible for. Mm -hmm. So he does a lot of like the taxes and the bill paying. I do all the inventory. So we try to you know divide and conquer. Is he a baker yep. as well? Yes, he's he been is. baking for oh, longer than I have. But no, he's really? a phenomenal baker. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Yep. And I smell coffee. Tell me about your coffees. Um, our coffee comes from Worcester. Um, okay. It's a local company. We try to do as many organic coffees as we can. Um, I'm really involved with it being fair trade. Um, okay. Yeah. So we also do our own lattes, which we get this amazing espresso from Italy. Um, and the lattes are handcrafted by our staff. Wow. Yeah, right now we're doing an autumn harvest one where we made our own syrup for it for flavoring. I try, mm -hmm. I, you know, it's hard because I don't always want to have 10 more things to do, yeah. but I also don't like a lot of the pre-made things. So, right. So then right. it becomes, you know, we'll try it and we'll be like, no, then I'll be like, all right, I'll make it, you know. <laughs> but yeah, so we always have a latte special every month um, or sun tea. Our sun tea is super popular. Um, we just finished with a peach blueberry. We'll be doing a cranberry sun tea soon. Um, so yeah, there's usually a hot beverage and a cold beverage for every month that we feature. That sounds great. Yeah. What are your hours? We are open Tuesday through Saturday. Um, Tuesday through Friday, it is eight to six. And then on Saturday, it's eight to five. We are closed Sunday and Monday. Okay. What's your favorite thing to make? My favorite thing to make is honestly a brownie. Really? Yeah, everyone always asks me that, but our brownies are kind of specific. Everything has to be done in a very specific order. It has to go immediately into the oven. And I love when you can get that thin, shiny crust at the top. Um, but I mean, it's not a lot of things that I can't make. I also really love to make bread. Um, mm -hmm. For the most part here, I decorate cakes, I decorate cupcakes. Um, but my passion is much more into coming up with new ideas. Um, you know, yesterday, for example, um, we made a pumpkin cheesecake filling for our Danish. Um, and I had no idea. I just made it up. So I'm like, let's hope this works. And it did. So thankfully. Oh, very um, nice. Do you do wedding cakes? We do upon request. I do not mm -hmm. advertise it um, because okay. we're, there's four full-time bakers. Deliveries can be tricky to negotiate on top of a busy retail. So if a regular customer asks me, I will do it. Okay. Yeah, but I don't usually advertise it. Okay. Any plans for the future? Any changes or expansions or retiring or anything like that? No plans for expansion. Um, we have been offered several times and I feel like if you really want to pay attention to what's going on, it's harder as you get bigger. Um, and I really like to oversee all the aspects. Um, my husband is older than I am. He's going to be cutting back on his hours and we're gonna get a puppy. So that's as far as uh, my plans are going. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so he gets less work hours and more puppy hours. Okay, yeah. well, that's fair. <laughs> Excellent. Did we leave anything out that you'd like people <gasps> to know? Um, yes, the only thing that we've left out is that if you absolutely want to get your favorite item give us a call and order it and we will set it aside for you that way you're not disappointed okay that sounds All good right. excellent oh well thank you very much oh my goodness so what are you guys gonna have to eat you know what are you gonna try oh i think she's digging in joe do you want to get it yourself there eat your heart out marcia yeah 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 mm. That is to die for. That is so good. Try it too. Yeah. Want to try it, Mark? Sure. I'll get it. You'll be in the neighborhood later. Oh, look at that big hunk! We'll Holy mackerel! That's mm. very, very good. Mm. Yeah. That is just right. Paige sent us home with a huge box of baked goods to try. Everything was so, so good. 
You could tell it was made from scratch with excellent ingredients and lots of love. Mm. Nice. It's a really nice bread. I bet this would be great with a turkey sandwich. Gotta try this bakery. Mm. I am just about ready to take a bite of this beautiful scone that we got at the Derby Bakery, made by Paige. Mm. This is so good. There's all sorts of things in there. I don't want sugar. It looks like there's a little fruit, too. Anyhow, if you ever want a good scone, go to the bakery.